Right, good morning everyone. Welcome to another vlog. Um, thought I'd make one today because today is actually kind of important, I guess. I'm supposed to be picking up two things for the Skyline today that are gonna make a big difference to the car and are very important parts of the build. The first one is some coilovers from a friend who actually owns an R33 GTST. Um, for some reason, R34 GTs and GTTs don't share coilovers. However, R33 GTST and R33 GT, sorry, R34 GTs do fit coilovers, like the same coilovers should work. So I'm gonna be picking those up this morning. And then in the afternoon, I'm gonna be going to collect a manual gearbox for the R34. That's the one I'm really excited about because as you, if you guys don't know already, this is my R34 Skyline and she is currently a NA automatic. She's an RB20 DE with a four speed auto in there. So I'm gonna be manual swapping it and then hopefully putting an RB25 DT Neo in there when I've got more money again. So my first run today is to drive up to Nottingham. It's about 110 miles away and then drive back home. And then I'm gonna be driving to Somerset, which is another 120 miles away and then driving back home. So I've got about 400 miles worth of driving today, I reckon, a bit, bit over actually. And that's why I want to talk about the Focus as well, because this Focus, I love it. I'm so happy to be back in my first car, but at the same time, this car is actually really fun to drive. It handles so well, it's comfortable, it's really fuel efficient on motorways. Um, when I went to view the Skyline up in Manchester before buying it, yeah, I did 400 miles on about two thirds of a tank. And this is a 1.6 litre petrol, it's <laughs> brilliant. Today also makes two weeks of owning this car and I've already done 647 miles in it. I think today we might go over a thousand, so <laughs> poor car, man, poor car. Anyways, I've got about two hours to drive starting from right now. It's 7.15 a.m., so let's go. Right, this car is genuinely fulfilling everything I wanted it for. Like, I'm already using it for buying car parts, collecting them, moving things, and also just driving to work and back. It's such a nice car to just go to the shops in. You don't really want to, like, get your expensive sports car out just to go to the shops quickly. This is just perfect to just jump in it all quick. Um, you less compliant. Like, honestly, this Focus is... I'm, I'm so happy with it. I couldn't have asked for it. There's nothing else I really wanted as a daily. I just love this. All this car needs is a nice head unit and then <laughs> it's perfect. My first stop is 133 miles away and I bet you that's like just under half a tank. I'll get there. I will get there, no problem. In fact, I'll show you guys how much we have left when we get there. I also want to apologize. Some of you may have noticed the lack of quality in my videos. I'm filming, I filmed my last three YouTube vlogs on an iPhone because my GoPro Hero 7 just stopped turning on a couple of weeks ago. I've tried both batteries, it got really hot while charging it. I was just like, yeah, um, I don't want to set the house on fire. So I'm just using my iPhone for a while until I sort something out. That drive turned out to be 133 miles. Yeah. I am happy with that. I was on under half a tank and I'm, well, I've probably still got 100 miles in that, to be honest. This car is so good. Right, what a view. Let's pull over and show you guys what I've got my hands on. I also want to take a picture to be honest, because that's a very nice view. Right, okay, so. My mate John, who has a really nice R33 Skyline as well, has just given me these puppies. I now have coilovers for the R34 and they've come off his R33 GTST because for some reason, R34 GTs and R34 GTTs don't match coilovers. However, R33 GTSTs and R34 GT GTs, there's a lot of GTs here, do match coilovers. So there you go. Okay, so 
the gearbox, not gearbox, sorry, the coilovers take more room up the car than I actually thought it would. Because I was thinking of going straight from Nottingham to Somerset and just do like one big triangle, but I need to make more room in the car. So I'm probably gonna go home first, get the coilovers out, then go to Somerset afterwards. Right, back down to my house we go. And then I've got to go back to Somerset after it. So I've got about two hours of driving left, full tank of petrol, and probably a good 300 more miles to do today. <laughs> I'm loving it though, I love this car. Right, we're home, coilovers are home. I've just gutted the back end out of the car basically because I think I'm gonna need a lot of room to fit a gearbox and an exhaust in the car. <laughs> The rear seats do fold fully down, so hopefully we'll be up for it. And I've been driving down the M3 to go towards Somerset. Um, traffic's actually been alright to be fair. However, it's very warm today, the weather's holding out. I shouldn't be complaining, but it's like borderline too hot. And I'm not sure my focus is aircon works. I think I need to regas it. The Skyline has working aircon, which was a massive surprise when I found that out. But I think the focus needs regassing. Um, so yeah, halfway to Somerset. And then hopefully I'll get an R34 gearbox and exhaust in the back of this focus. Okay then guys. Here we go. Hey! <laughs> That's it, a thousand miles done in my Ford Focus that I bought two weeks ago today, this poor car. <laughs> good car, good car. Right, here we have Stonehenge just up there. There's always traffic on this road because that's one of the like tourist attractions of the UK, I guess. It is pretty sick, um, but it does mean that this road is always, without fail, slow as fuck. So hopefully I'll get past this soon and then we'll be on our way and I swear I'm destined to live at this side of the country. Look at that! What the hell? Bro, there is nowhere near London, nowhere that looks this good. Oh my days. The only way I could be having a better time right now is if I was in the skyline instead of the Focus. No disrespect to my lovely Focus. And there was no traffic, but this is freaking stunning, mate, honestly. Wait, Dan, give us a wave. Huh? Give us a wave. All right, sweet. Cool, so here we have a manual gearbox, half a prop shaft, a full exhaust system, a clutch and a flywheel, and I also got coilovers this morning, so yeah. Okay, so I've just spent a couple hours at Dan's. I'm now driving to my friend Josh's house, um, and I'm very happy. The reason I'm filming this clip is because the route I'm taking to get there is actually one of my favorite roads in the entire country. I can't remember the actual name of this road, but me and Dan call it Yellow Post Road. And you even get some tanks that cross this road sometimes as well. And it's just really cool. Um, the scenery is just incredible as well. I mean, you get some high bits where you can see far away and stuff. It's just sick. I mean, I'd love, I am like driving this road, picturing being in the skyline, but even the focus is an absolute blast down this road um, and I'm lucky because I've only got one car in front of me currently as well and there have been times where I'm just like behind elderly people who are too scared to do more than 50 mile an hour on this country lane whereas this guy's going for it but he's having a time of his life just like me right into this guy <laughs> yeah this road oh here's the reason I call it yellow post road You'll probably see it right now there you go <laughs> Yeah, it continues on for a few miles. There's a bunch of noise in the back because of all the metal I've got going on, but <laughs> I'm not letting it ruin my drive. This is freaking, oh mate, this road is unreal. Such nice sweeping corners and stuff. But anyways, um, I'm actually gonna go stay at Josh's house tonight. And then I'll report back to you guys in the morning when I'm driving back home with all my car parts. <laughs> then guys so i am now home uh it's now saturday morning so this has taken a while but here we have the focus with all the skyline stuff 
and here's the skyline which a bird has really annoyingly shat on the side of it which is weird because a bird managed to shit on the side of the focus yesterday i don't how do you aim for the side of a car they must have done it as a flyby or something anyways um yeah time to offload the focus so with that um i'm gonna end this video here thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and there's an update on what's going on with the skyline hopefully soon it'll be manual swapped um, then I've got to save up for the RB25 DT Neo, which is going to take a while. But the two big things I wanted to do to the Skyline was to manual swap it and put an RB25 in it. So that's already half of it done. Now I've got to wait for the engine and a lot more money. And then, yeah, my dream car will be getting built hopefully soon. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you guys in the next one. See you in a bit.